Guys, watch this thing for uh, watch this thing for next week uh, for for Friday. If this thing starts building over set uh, twenty two. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Uh, first and foremost, I want to uh, wish everybody a happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving. Obviously, uh, you know we're we're in a very very uh, unique scenario. Okay, that we are uh, in a job in a profession that you know really lets you spend a lot of quality time with your family. And again, that's what the holidays are, at least for me, you know, all the materialistic stuff, it comes and goes and becomes, you know, it becomes kind of irrelevant after a while, but the people that are, you know, always important in your lives, uh, they're there forever. So I, I want to wish you guys uh, nothing but the best, uh, all uh, the happiness this uh, kicking off this holiday uh, season. Happy Thanksgiving. May you get fat like I will, or at least I plan to, uh, in the next 24 hours. So uh, let's get a quick kind of a quick update, and then we'll you know we'll kind of this the, you know depart to our, our holiday. So uh, market did exactly what we talked about. Uh, Q's reclaimed uh, from the macro side, uh, reclaimed this whole channel. We talked about it. it was very very bullish. Uh, the question today was, well, you know, were the names, the beta names, were going to wake up? Uh, we saw that. We saw the wake up. Um, you know, Tesla continues to be an absolute monster. You know, the road to 600 is pretty much there. It's just like on any dip today, you, you, you know, you, you really have to be long Tesla on any rising dip uh, ahead, again, ahead of uh, the December 21st. Uh, S and P ad. Uh, we talked about Amazon yesterday, you know, on last night's video. And again, it wasn't going to be, uh, it wasn't going to be obvious to a lot of people. But again, this was the same channel uh, we talked about last night, and now everybody's talking about Amazon's breaking out. It is absolutely Amazon is breaking out, uh, and we saw, uh, we saw today uh, 3,200, 3,300, 3,400. We saw uh, December 3,900 calls being traded. So very, very. Uh, strong name as well, but the, the most uh, ironic part uh, of of kind of like this whole beta cycle, especially the last three weeks, you would figure today more of these names would wake up. And, and again, the one thing we've been kind of seeing over and over again is kind of rotation one at a time, like literally one at a time. Uh, so from from the betas today, uh, Amazon woke up, uh, Zoom woke up. I still like Zoom. We'll talk about that uh, in a second. But again, the theme continues to be. Uh, these energy names, the SPACs, the Schmacks, the Drax, or well, whatever you want to call them, uh, they're still incredibly hot. Uh, the trade of the day for me today, but not even close, uh, was this Fisker. You know, got upgraded today, uh, upgraded today. We'll talk about the pivots in a second, but upgraded today, uh, took out this channel, took out this macro channel, and now uh, it's challenging all time highs, which is an absolute amazing move. A uh, very strong day today, and, and the moral of the story is now that we got at least the election behind this, and that was probably uh, the biggest uncertainty, okay? Uh, the stimulus thing, again, is still hanging over our heads, but at least we have some sort of clarity going into the first quarter who uh, is going to be leading this country. Uh, so that's kind of a good thing. Whether you disagree or agree uh, with the outcome of the election, again, Go out and vote, right? And again, I, I don't want to have a whole political discussion about this. I get it. The whole thing was rigged. A lot of people complain, but it is what it is. We're, we've moved on, okay? It's, it's, it's not even a conversation uh, that's worth having. Uh, but again, the market right now is definitely in the sweet spot. Uh, Friday's session, usually the day after, uh, the day after um, uh, Turkey Day, right, is usually a very, very aggressive session because, number one, you have a half day in there. Uh, you have a really hot, aggressive market right now, and there's no downtime, right? There's no dead zones in a half day. Again, of course, you're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of volume kind of exit the building. But I, I, I do suspect uh, the strong names like a FSR over $22 will explode again. Uh, even a name that we found today in the live webinar, this SRAC, right? This this SRAC. We talked about this thing 
uh, on the 1120 breakout, this thing right now is 20, 1230 after the close. Again, these stocks are working. Again, these are the names and these are the themes we want to continue to look at. So again, is beta great right now? It's not, but it's good enough. And I think that's the best way of saying it. Uh, Amazon uh, breaking out finally. First close over this whole channel. Uh, again, I, I, I don't see why we can't get a move to 3,300, 3,400. Um, if you look at ZM, and again, what I like what I saw about ZM today, it finally took out the channel. Yes, there was a reload seller there on the 447 level. But what I like about what I saw today about ZM there was news of more, you know, more like kind of a kind of a short term target when these vaccines are going to be available. And what I like about it is it finally did not sell off on that news. So, again, it's basically showing you how people are digesting and accepting all news. Right. So Zoom is not just. Uh, you know, any more of kind of a stay at home play. It's now, well, just a company that hosts webinars and more and more companies, they might not be fully staffed, right? Uh, going into, uh, into their brick and mortar office space. So again, this product will still be uh, in use. Again, I love it. I think a lot of you guys uh, use it for work and for home, for everything as well. So it's good stuff. It's a good company and they, they come out with earnings next week. So you have to assume uh, if they are gonna run it on Friday, uh, into next week, you, you have to assume their earnings are going to be good, at least enough for a trade ahead of their earnings that are reporting on Monday. So going into a Friday session again, how can you not be bullish on this market? The market is incredibly strong. And now we are looking for a better rotation. I think that's the best way of looking at it. We're looking for better rotation uh, in these energy names, uh, in uh, a lot of these uh, names that people are just bidding up with absolutely no regards. Like for example, NNDM, right? NNDM is a name I started watching. A buyer came in for the December 750 calls. Look, the stock is at 575. So my point is, there's a lot of names like this that are getting attention, that are also getting the option flow. And the most important part is, again, watching it at the top of the channel, if you continue to get option flow, you know, this is literally a name that I, I'm going to be trading because again, that's where the money flow is going into. So let's talk about today's session. Uh, again, this was the trade. I mean, this is definitely the trade here. FSR, uh, it got upgraded today. It's an EV name. Uh, the two spots that we were looking at, 17, 1730, right? That's the micro, 1830. If it closes, it's going to explode. It exploded. I mean, absolutely exploded. Uh, and right now, and right now, excuse me, here's the 17, here's the 1730, here was the 1830. I said there's a shot it gets to 2160 today, and it got above that. I, guys, watch this thing for, uh, watch this thing for next week, uh, for, for Friday. If this thing starts building over set, uh, 22, these EV names is going absolutely nuts. So phenomenal move, absolutely phenomenal move. I know a lot of you guys uh, still have a runner. Uh, Zoom, again, stalled out twice for me. Uh, the first trade on Zoom uh, I lost a dollar and change. It stalled out. The second move on Zoom for me, I made a dollar and change and stalled out. So, you know, I'm, I want to still watch it uh, for Friday's action. Amazon, like we talked about last night, uh, 3144. If it gets above, it, sh it should explode. And here was Amazon, right? Here's the, the channel we talked about last night in the video, right? This whole channel here. And they put up a $70 candle, just an absolute amazing move. This thing starts reclaiming 3200 and we got to move to 3300 coming up next. Uh, Facebook did nothing, literally nothing. Uh, I liked Microsoft of the pivot 21530, the high of the day 21529. Again, just absolutely craziness. But again, this shows you how specific these pivots are. Again, FSR absolutely exploding. Uh, Amazon exploding. Amazon huge. Um, yeah, 447. It traded to like 449. It just wasn't a big move uh, at all. 3300 next stop. I appreciate I appreciate the kind words. Okay, uh, shop nice move on shop again. This whole uh, cyber uh, cyber Friday uh, cyber Monday Black Friday trade shop any close over a thousand is super bullish. Look at the move on shop. Congratulations for shop uh, close at a thousand twenty has room all the way to ten fifty uh, for Monday. Uh, DDD eight sixty needs to build right here was DDD. Right, took out 860, traded to nine. You know, if it could, if it could reclaim nine, if it could reclaim nine bucks, I think it goes higher as well. Uh, so nice little move there. IPOB, I like. Check, guys, watch this IPOB. They, you know, late in the day they were coming for the December twenty-three dollar calls. I like this thing. If this thing starts building on Friday uh, or or the following week above 
uh, $21. I think this thing can go, so definitely uh, keep an eye on that. So that's it, guys. I wanted to kind of condense this version. Uh, I appreciate all the support, uh, all the good vibes. I love you guys all. Have a wonderful, amazing, happy, and healthy Thanksgiving. May God always be with you, and with God's help, I'll see you all on Friday. Take care.